I put my class in charge of a power grid for a major metropolitan area. I followed the steps on the essay map and they led me to an A+. I showed my daughter how to rewrite her own fairy tale. Tools that help me support my child's education. Complete cross-disciplinary lesson plans for teachers. Learning games and homework help for kids. Thinkfinity offers tens of thousands of standards-based K-12 resources, including lesson plans, printable worksheets, videos, podcasts, interactive learning tools, reference materials, even artifacts. Thinkfinity makes learning fun. Students don't just learn history. They launch their own time machine. They don't just practice math. They join Calculation Nation and compete in learning games with other online players. Cool! We provide teachers with Thinkfinity resources to create useful lessons, activities, and hands-on learning projects. Teachers join our forums to share experiences and ideas with their peers. Parents, too, can take part by viewing webinars and sharing their own ideas. It's a growing online community that reaches across the country and around the globe. Thinkfinity is a perfect example of how the power of Verizon's broadband and innovative products and services can help enrich lives and empower communities. All right. Uh, welcome to this uh, segment of Digital Discoveries in the El Paso Independent School District. And if you haven't figured out by now, we're going to be talking about something called Thinkfinity. And Thinkfinity is an awesome resource for teachers, students, and parents that's available, again, for free. We like to show you things that are available for free. And um, this is actually, if you didn't get it from the video, something put out by the Verizon Foundation. Not the Verizon company, but the foundation. That's a charitable arm of uh, Verizon. And so um, we're going to look at some of the uh, um, uh, materials that are available on Thinkfinity, why you'd even want to use it. Thinkfinity is a, a resource that's available for free. Um, teachers can use it to find al alternate lesson plans. Students can use it to teach themselves or teach each other different ways of learning the same material. It's open for everybody and even though we say that it's for teachers and students, parents can also use it as well. So this is a, a great resource that's available to our entire community. It's a, it's a nationwide thing. So what the heck is Thinkfinity? I'm going to pop back and go to the uh, the opening screen of Thinkfinity, and it's a uh, it's not a single website that has uh, uh, it creates stuff. What Thinkfinity does is they they gather materials from some of the finest um, content providers on the web, and they put them all into one place so that. Uh, teachers and students and parents can can look at this and they can gather that information together. So let me pull up just some of the providers that are that are actually putting content into Thinkfinity. I think we have a graphic that actually shows all of the different content providers for Thinkfinity. National Geographic, um, the Science Links from the, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, uh, Edcitement. Uh, Illuminations. Illuminations is from the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. And so it's a great website that's full of interactive uh, places. Read, write, read, write, think. That's hard to say. They're <laughs> 10 times fast. Read, write, think is uh, one of the just it's from the International Reading Association. It's one of the really cool websites that, again, it teaches kids reading skills, but at, at the same time, it teaches uh, uh, them in an interesting way. It's in Smithsonian. So you can see that the ones that we have available, these are not slacker organizations. These are organizations that are really high end and provide some of the best material available. So uh, what I want to do is kind of just uh, show you. Some of the things that are available, this is kind of going to be for uh, students and teachers. Maybe it's going to lean a little bit more toward the teachers here. Um, but what we want to do here is uh, I, I log into Thinkfinity, thinkfinity.org. This is the website that you're going to get. So once we log into thinkfinity.org, um, what can you search for it? Well, it's an in, just an unlimited number of things that you can search for. If you notice, right when you log in, you're going to see this great big search bar right at the top of the screen. This is a search bar for students. It's a search bar for teachers, parents. So let's see. We, let's look at something. 
I'm going to type in seasons, okay? I'm going to type in seasons and see if there's any lessons or if there's any interactives or if there's anything that has to do with the seasons. Maybe I'm teaching that unit in my class or I'm doing uh, the reason for the seasons kind of thing. So let's, let's, let's I click on go and that's where we, we have the search. And look at there, there we have, actually have, <laughs> surprisingly enough, something called the reasons for the seasons. Um, here's something about misconceptions about why seasons occur. So you can actually see that this is, um, uh, I'm gonna scroll in just a little bit so you can see that we actually have for this, this particular one is for K-12, this one's for five through 13. You can actually find lessons that go above 12th grade here in Thinkfinity. Uh, misconceptions about why seasons occur, that's for middle school, six to eighth grade. Weather, what is a season? That's a kindergarten, that's a primary lesson. Now, when you search for something like this, and this is where I'll start talking to the teachers a little bit, you might see a little star over here. If you see a little star, that means that particular lesson is aligned with the state standards. So this particular reason, a uh, uh, lesson, weather two, what's the season, that's actually aligned to the Texas state standards, our TEK. So that's a, that's a great thing to have right there. The other ones are not necessarily aligned, but they're good information. So here's a science link. I'm gonna click on that one. I'm gonna zoom back out. And it's actually a lesson plan for teachers to use. And uh, they have links within the lesson. So I'm gonna say, oh, well, here's a student explaining about the, what the, why the earth and the sun the orbits about them. And so that's what that's all about. Now, don't get the impression that the only thing that's available on Thinkfinity are a bunch of uh, um, boring texts that pop up. That's not true at all. I wanna show you something called interactives. If I go to in the classroom up on the left-hand side and click on interactives, there are tons and tons of things that teachers can use on whiteboards, on your interactive whiteboards that are just awesome. So say for instance, I wanna click on, I, there's a whole bunch of them here. Let's click on this one. This is a flipbook. Flipbook is kind of cool <coughs> because what this allows students to do is actually create a book online. I wanna create a flipbook. I can, uh, so the first thing I wanna do is type the page labels below. So this is a introduction. Uh, whoops, I misspelled introduction. I can type in introduction and I can actually add my pages as I go along. Uh, let's see. And so you can see here, I hope teachers, that we're actually working on the writing process, the beginning, the middle, the end, and then I go to the next page, make sure you've added, and that's it, I'm done with this, those, and I print that out. And so what happens is I'm given a little flip book. Students can actually print out a flip book that they can then write in, and it's just an awesome, awesome tool that's available and there's tons and tons of these interactives that are available. There's uh, lessons that teach 21st century skills, collaboration, cooperation, communication. There's just tons of these available. Thinkfinity is just an awesome, awesome resource. And I wanna show you this one last place that you can go on Thinkfinity. It's called Wonderopolis. Wonderopolis is just an amazing website that every day answers one question. And so today, which is day number 382, it asks the question, what is compound interest? That's what Wonderopolis is. But every day it's got a different question and the questions can be for elementary, the questions can be for middle school. So Wonderopolis is actually one of the many, many really cool resources that are available on Thinkfinity. And so it's one of those things that you wanna visit on a daily basis and maybe that these are question starters for your classes, to get your classes thinking about stuff. But Here's what I wanna ask you. If you had a lesson that you weren't getting across uh, to your students or you're a student that's not understanding the lesson, could you show them an alternative lesson on Thinkfinity? I bet you could. I bet that no matter what you're teaching, there's probably an alternative lesson on Thinkfinity that you can show and get to your students with. Try it out. Thinkfinity is a great resource. It's available for free for all of our teachers. And um, I'll see you next time on digital discoveries.